What's up, movie crew? Welcome to night 12 of 31 Nights of Horror. Today is Tuesday, which means it's TV Tuesday. So what did I watch? Well, I didn't watch it all in one night because there, that would be a little much. And I still have to do that thing called sleep from time to time. Season one of Creep Show. Now, if you have seen some of my previous videos where I talk Shout Factory, Screen Factory, stuff like that, or my review for the amusement park, then you know that Creep Show is my favorite Romero film. Yes, I am aware Romero was not involved with this. This was only done two years ago, I believe, and Romero passed away prior to that. But the other half of this collaborative process, Stephen King, is involved. In fact, he even got his son, Joe Hill, for those that don't know, to also work on this. So this is going to be a part review, part unboxing. This is the slip cover. And there's going to be a picture at the end of this. It's going to be poorly done, but this thing glows in the dark. We got the reversible artwork because if you see my shop factory stuff, you know why I don't normally flip the uh, reversible artwork. One of the reasons being slipcover and there's no barcode. RLJ, shout out to y'all. Y'all put a barcode on the other side. So I used the alternate artwork, which I think is really cool. We've got a booklet in here that's got all 12 segments. For those that are wondering, Creep Show season one is six episodes, but every episode has two segments. And it even opens up like a little comic book. For those who don't know, Creep Show was inspired by Tales from the Crypt, uh, Vault of Horror, Tales of Suspense, the old EC comics from the 50s. But you got little pages showing off each thing. And then the next part, you got the cast for each episode. And I think the next one is actually my favorite episode on here. Yes. All Hallows Eve episode three. That one is definitely my favorite in here. It's about a group of kids that go trick-or-treating and they say this is going to be the last time they go out and do this. And you're kind of wondering what's going on. And then as the story progresses, you kind of get an idea of what's about to happen. But I thought it was a really good story. Really well done. And it's nothing against Stephen King on this one because I know that Obviously, Stephen King had to be involved on this one, but I know a lot of people are going to pick Grey Matter for a lot of different reasons, and Grey Matter was a great episode, but All Hallows Eve, for there's a couple of things in there that I can definitely connect with in a few ways. And we've also got The Monkey's Paw. So, got a nice little comic book that acts as the episode guide. you got some disc artwork. There's disc one. Yeah, all the discs do have the same artwork, but it's still cool. RLJ definitely did their thing with the season one box set for Creep Show. And you've got commentary, I believe, on all six episodes. And there's a little bonus feature showing some of the Easter eggs, either little throwbacks to various Stephen King stuff or some of the previous George Romero stuff. And there's also a little Easter eggs here and there for both Creepshow and Creepshow 2. For anyone that wants to watch Creepshow, Season 1 and Season 2 are available to stream on Shudder. The physical release is now available on DVD and Blu-ray from RLJ. Shout out to RLJ for doing their thing with the Shudder exclusives. I freaking love them. 
But that's going to do it for this one. If you were new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have seen the Creep Show TV series. And do you think it holds up compared to the original movies? But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.